With about 2 million people on the island of Manhattan, the pace is hectic, the homes are small, and the prices are high. So some of the other boroughs, like the Bronx, have become attractive options. Hey, how you doing? Come on in. I'm Lance. Let me show you my place. What can you get for $500? Well, Lance Leak furnished his entire apartment for just that. Lance's 500 square foot loft is one open room filled with secondhand treasures. My goal for this place was trying to decorate it for less than $500. So far, I've stayed under my budget, but I'm getting really close. I think I've got about maybe $20 left. So who knows, maybe I'll take myself out to dinner and call it a day. In the living room, Lance gave the floors an inexpensive overhaul. When I first moved into the place, it was pretty raw. There was a few pieces of carpet on the floor, but it was basically plywood, unpainted. So the first thing I wanted to do was take care of the floors. Painted it white, gave it a couple coats, and it turned out pretty good. Don't be afraid to paint your floor white. All you need is some good deck enamel. It's gonna wear beautifully, and it cleans very, very easily. My idea was to try to figure out how to make this look like kind of a lounge, just one room where everybody can be comfortable and hang out. So how do I do that with traditional furniture? I don't, I go to thrift stores. The first thrift store buy I got were these pieces right here. I've got this, these two pieces and a pantry all for 60 bucks. This clock I purchased about five years ago. I paid about 20 or $30 for it on an online auction. And now I've seen it reproduced for about $300. I started going to different thrift stores, different used furniture places, and looking for older pieces. That started a business for me, and that's what I do. Lance's cooking area is really just a nook next to his bed. Well, this is the kitchen area, and what I'm trying to do is disguise it right now because I really don't want a kitchen in my bedroom. So I'm trying to lounge it up a little bit, when I wanted to design the walls, I was thinking of something natural but looked a little different. So cork came to mind. I found these cork tiles, put a thin coat of polyurethane on them, and spaced them out with an inch apart and came up with this great design. The great thing about these cork panels is all you have to do is peel them and stick them. Having the sink here, I decided to make it into a wet bar with the glasses displayed. So you know it's an entertainment area. One thing that I really like, though, is using this window to put my dish drain in. The kitchen also has another purpose. It's my laundry room. I got this headboard and decided to use it as a partition, which seems to work great. I can even hang my laundry on it if I need to. I also have a folding rack that I can put my clothes on to dry, or I'll just use these pipes up here. I like the way he uses his pipes in his space to hang things from. Another really good useful thing to do is if the, if the pipe is running through your space, use it as a room divider. Hang some curtains from it. Nothing is what it used to be in Lance's loft, not even the bed. When I was thinking about designing my bedroom, I wanted a nice, light, airy feel. And I came up with this idea of this floating bed. It's actually sitting on a coffee table that was designed in the 70s. It has these big fat chrome legs and it raises it up nice and tall so it gives it, again, that feeling of flowing space. All the color in the loft was confined to the smallest space in it. When I started working on my bathroom, I wanted to do something a little bit different from what I had done with the room in there. So I added a lot of color, popping red, put some stainless steel in here, but also made it more personal with gifts that I've received from my friends. Liza got me this thing from Hawaii, Vivian got me this from South Africa. Really made it personal and I enjoy it a lot. Lance set aside one corner of the space for his DJ gear, also secondhand. This is the area I call my studio slash office. This is where I get a lot of my work done. Study on the computer, do research, and also do remixes. I've been a DJ for many years and this is my setup. It's great for when you're having friends over, and when I want to get a little creative, just pull out the keyboards and make my own music. I actually enjoy living in a small space. Uh, a friend of mine told me once when we were having parties that uh, if you have a party every so often, it keeps you honest. 
and I couldn't actually understand what she meant by that. And then she explained it a little more in detail, saying that if you have people over, it keeps you clean. A small space does the same thing. 